Hi, good evening, Nana here. There is a popular requirement from my students to demonstrate the complex POs in ABISM. So there are two such complex POs are there. One is the retinae generalis, one is the recruitment. So I'm going to demonstrate both the complex POs on ABISM. And I'll go there and then show it to you now. So if you go on and see this document, I have a document called Autual AP New Futures 123.2 BF, in which what happens if you go to the 57th page, you can now see the retainage and raise. So retainage is a common practice of withholding a fixed amount, percentage of payment, until all work under a con contract is now completed. Right. It's a very famous one. Let us say a builder is now building. So what happens, is, let us say he is now asking, let us say 50 lakhs for building the house. So upon completion of uh, what happens, uh, the uh, basement, he will now ask, say 10%. After what happens, uh, raising the first floor, he will now ask another 20%. So you'll be asking different payments at uh, different stages of completion of the building. And then at every stage, what happens, we are going to retain certain amount of money. So that what happens, once when the building is fully constructed, we'll now wait for some six months time and then see the rigidity of the building as well as what happens, the other activities, the electrical connections, everything. And then afterwards, we'll now release the rate in each actually. So the return is also known as what happens as retention also. You can even say as a retention. So the very famous one on many, many things, fine. The return and release is a very famous concept in the service agreement and go there. So at the end of the project, I will go right now. So go down and then have a look at it now. Fine, this is one example of this now. And a contract amount of 15,000 is now made for which what happened, the return is going to be 20%. So it is now getting paid in three stages of his construction actually. And then 8,000 is the first one, 4,000, 3,000. When you raise the invoice of 8,000, what happens? We're going to retain 20% of this one of 1,600. And then we'll now pay only 6,400 to him on his invoice of 8,000. On the second stage, we pay 3,200. And then the third stage, we pay 2,400, 3,200, 2,400. So the total amount paid is to 12,000. And so what happens? We are retaining 3,000. We'll wait for some time, some three or six months' time. And afterwards, if everything is okay, his work is now okay, then what happens? We'll now release the retainage actually. So we'll now get a retainage release invoice. So this is how we're going to work now. So go down and then we'll not do this now and go there. So the first activity is what in the financial options, the retainage account has to be there now. Fine, let us go there and then have a look at it now. <coughs> then switch responsibility to purchasing now. And purchasing, go to setups, organization, and then go to the financial options now. <coughs> the financial options, what happens? You must have the retainage account set. Fine, this has to be set properly. So the navigation for this is what? Setup, organization, financial options is now set. Then what happens? Let us now go and then create a supplier now. And go to supply supplier. <coughs> let me get a supplier now. So I'm now creating a supplier now. Go there. So let me create a supplier now. <coughs> uh, we are now creating a supplier actually. And go there, close it. Let me close this now. Find supplier is now now. I click on the great supplier. So I'm now going to create a supplier now. Fine. I will now say, uh, um, <coughs> what happens? I will now put Nana underscore com complex supply. So this is a supplier. So I'm now creating a supplier here. If I click on apply, so not a complex supplier, if I click on apply, I go inside. <coughs> and then once when I go inside, what happens? We go there and then there is a, the BQM is now throwing an error now, fine. There is a possible matching organization, not accounts one, not a semi, those things are coming. If I ignore the DQM's recommendation, then click on the create new organization, by which what happens? We go inside now. Go there. And then when you come to the main page, you click on save now. <coughs> and then at first, what happens? You go down. And then in this place, that is, you go to the payment details and then make one of the payment as a default payment. Now, right? we'll make a check as a default payment. And click on it and then click on save now. So I made the check as a default payment. And then what happens? You have to go and then get the address now. Right? So we are going to go and then look at the address book and then create an address. Now. Click on create. I'll be reading an address now. So I will now say it's EDDR1. Not that. I go there. And then I will now make it as a site one now. Site one, I'm making it and go there. Click on continue. I'm continuing it now. So it is now throwing an error. It is not actually error, it's a warning because what happened? The state, county, and city is not available. The DQM, the data quality management, is not throwing an error. Fine, doesn't matter. Fine, click on enable the pay, purchasing and payment. We have to enable it now. Fine, go there and then click on continue. Purchasing and payment has to be enabled. I forgot and enabled in the previous step. This comes under the multi org access control. So there's only one one. Fine, go there. Click on it and then click on apply. <coughs> Now, what happens? You go down in the invoice management. I'm going to give a retain age percentage. Fine, click on the invoice management, and then the invoice management. What happens? I go to the terms area. Fine, click on the terms area, and then let us say that what happens? I'm going to retain five percent on every invoice. 
till the construction is completed and afterwards what happens i'm going to make release now so this we can even supersede on the purchase order and 5% is retained in the amount and that you can see so by which what happens the supplier is not fully created we now create the supplier. My five percent is retained. So it is a nana complex sub one of the one fine gold. I close it and then let us now go there and then we'll now go and then go to the bio work center and then here what happens? They go to the what's called orders. So I'm not going to get an order now. Fine, double click on it. So let me get a purchase order now. <coughs> so this is a complex services basically. Fine, drop down and then I will now make complex services finance PO. Fine, I will now go for the complex services finance PO. Fine, click on go now. So go to the complex services finance PO. Fine, click on go. The previous versions will be known as a different name now, and I'm not sure about what exactly the name now. Go there and then let us know <coughs> create this one. So here what happens? I put this what it is a nana underscore C O M P and then wait for it to load now. So the supplier is now getting loaded. The supplier inside is loaded, fine. Go to the lines area. So in the lines area, what I'm gonna do is I'll now make a change to what fixed prices services. Fixed prices services now. Go there. Fixed prices service is the one. Go there, and then I will not say what happens. It is a <coughs> what's called a construction. When uh, what happens? A re renovation. I am now asking a supplier to renovate something. Fine, go there, and then the price offered is five thousand. Go there. Five thousand the price. Fine, go there. <coughs> what else? And then I will not say when it is needed. Fine, go there. Give the need be date. Let's say twenty six. The need be date. Go there, and then click on this icon on this update icon. Click on this update icon and then go inside. <coughs> there, what happens? I'm not going to say the five percent is the retainage amount. Fine, the retainage amount is going to be five percent. Fine, I'm not going to override it now. On the supplier side, we have set it up and then I'm overriding it to ten percent. Go there. That's it. Fine, go there. And then retainage has been overridden now. Fine, click on apply. It's not done. Oh God, enter positive value. What happened? <coughs> category has not been mentioned. Fine, we'll say I will not say one more thing. I have to explain about the category is not fine. Let us now cancel it now. Fine, let me cancel it. So in the categories part, let me explain one more thing. Fine, click on OK. Fine. Uh, yes, come on of it now. I will now close and then tell something on the category. Since it is a description based purchases, what happens? We will now go there. Switch responsibility to what happens? Human resources now. In human resources, go to the people, enter maintain, and then let me query the employee now. Fine, I'm now working on the stock mispack, stock percentage, pack percentage, and you tap on. And then click on find now. I'm now going to the assignment area of the employee now. Click on the assignment area. So in the assignment area, what happens? I go there, I go to the purchase order information now. Fine, go to the purchase order information. Here, what happens? You can now see this is the one. Fine, zero one 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 zero seven six nine nine four zero two forty. Now what happens, since it is an expense based purchases, what happens, the employee's expense account, the default expense account of the purchase officer will become the charge account of it. And then we have a category level override. So I'm going to override the first two categories. The first two categories I'm going to override now. 7699 I'm now keeping it as such now, fine. So the, this is the one, fine. This is the default expense account will become the charge account because when you are making an expense based purchases, the fixed prices service is the expense based. So this account, so first two first two segments I'm going to override now, fine, close it now, fine, close it now. And then what happens, you switch responsibility to purchasing. <coughs> go there. Here, what happens, I go to the setups, I go to the financials, and then I go to the accounting, and then you go to the expense rules now. Expense account rules. Set up financials, accounting, expense account rules. I'm going over there. Fine. Here I'm going to override now. I already overridden now. I will again teach you about how to override. Now. Fine. Let me delete these two things now. <coughs> delete. Click on S now. And then I will now delete. And then click on S now. So let me create what happens my expense account rule for category level overrides now. In one of the projects, what happens is we have done more than 600 such rules now. Fine. So much of a requirement was there from the customer. So they wanted to have overridden. Fine. Click on create now. I will not go to it. Fine. It is a, I will not put misc misc as a one. Misc dot misc is a category. Give it have now. So for which what happens? I will not choose the first company name. Fine. Go there. I will not query for the company names values over here now. I click on go. So so many values are going to come. So let me go and then what happens? I will not say zero one was there. Let me put what happens? Zero two now. I am going to change it. Fine. Click on apply. So zero one is given overridden as zero two. Fine. Click on what happens? Create one more rule for the department also. Fine. Go there. I will not again put the this thing misc dot misc and then give it have. And then the segment name is going to be department now. And then here I will now make a query now. <clears throat> so it was 110 there. I will now make a change to what? Say let's say something else 140. So it was 110. I will now make a change to 140. So the first two segments are getting overridden when the category is going to be misc misc on the people now. 
when the remaining segments are same 7699 something 000020 everything will be same right so we can even override every every segment of the what happens the charge account actually right? only two segments are getting overridden 0 to 140 right? now we go and then create our complex view when you go there you go to the bio work center and then here what happens you go there and then go to the orders now right you go there and then open up the orders now <coughs> so make it as what complex services PO fine click on go now I'm not going to create it now but the supplier is nana <coughs> right, underscore complex fine complex sub one fine I'm choosing it now fine the supply cycle becoming fine go to the lines area the lines area whatever I'm going to make a change to fix fine, fixed prices and services now fine fixed prices and services quick select it and then what happens I know this I know say renovation renovation go there category I have to put it now and go there MISC dot MISC is the category I'm putting it now and go there and then let us say I will not put a value of around say five thousand five thousand US dollars when you go there I will not give a need be date I click on the need be date now I will not say 26 is the need be date and then afterwards what happens I click on the update icon and then I'm going to override what happens here with this thing now? The rate image which has come from five percent, I will not make a change to ten percent. So the individual from the when the supplier is sitting, what happens is not coming, and I'm overriding it to ten percent. I click on apply, I'm apply. <coughs> go there, got what is the thing? Line one enter value is there. Oh, sorry, sorry. What happens? There are so many lines, the system is now creating it now. Fine, <laughs> that is the problem now. I cancel it. So before going over there, what happens there? Uh, we have to delete those lines actually. Fine, there is a reason what happens is not showing. Uh, again. I will again go there. I will not before going to update what happens. So what you have to do is we have to delete those lines. I have forgotten that actually. Fine, go there. So go there. That is the reason. Fine, Nana underscore complex. <coughs> and go there. I have to delete those lines. Then only you should do it now. Fine, go there. And then go to the lines. I have to go to the lines. What happens? The system automatically creates this many lines actually. Fine, why it's showing again this thing now? Because what happens? I'm not a give a cancel now. The previous lines, uh, when beginning a supplier, they're ending a contract now. Indicates supplier is editing the document. Uh, uh, well, no, let me do one thing. I'll now close this and then again come over here now. <coughs> Go to the orders region. Let me create a new one now. I click on this complex view and then give a go now. Go there. Please. Nana underscore complex. Nana, sorry. <clears throat> Nana underscore complex. I will not put the supply on site and then go to the lines area. The first thing is what? Let me delete all other lines. These lines are causing a problem. Fine, let me delete it now. And uh, through profile options, I think you can control it fine. Uh, defaulting of five lines is not required. <clears throat> so we go there. And it asked me to enter everything and then before updating it. Fine. These are all silly things actually. Click on it and then let me delete everything. We have only one line now. Click on it. And then I'm going to make a change of what? This one to what? Fixed prices services. Fixed prices services. The one I'm choosing it now. If I go there, description is I will not say put renovation. The category I will not put misc 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 dot misc. I'm putting it now. If I go there, I will not say the amount is going to be what happens. The price is now coming as five thousand now. Go there. I don't know. Give a need be date now. Give a need be date. Is it twenty six? Now, if you go on there, it will not throw any error. Just not previously just showing an error. Now, I go there. Let me over it from five percent to ten percent now. And the category is already there now. I go there. Click on apply. It gets applied. Final orders. So now, what happens? He is now this amount may be a huge amount, and then what happens? He's now going to ask in slabs now. Fine, go to the pay terms, and then here what happens? I'm now going to make a split on this. Fine, go there. So here amount is now price is now five thousand. Fine, let me split it now. Fine, go to the split area, and then let me split it now. I'm splitting it now. So it is a 3000 is now asking. Fine, 3000 is now asking. Fine, the need be date is what? Uh, let's say he's asking 3000 on uh, what date? Let us say 26 now. And then otherwise, he's now asking another 2000. <coughs> Go there. 
is now asking on whether 28 or some days so it's given hours so since the renovation what happens is now claiming two invoices now fine on every invoice i am going to retain 10% of this one number and others then afterwards what happens they go to the distribution now. so you go to the distribution <coughs> And then the distribution, what happens? Uh, these two things are coming. Fine, what else? What else? So you go there, and then everything is okay. Fine. On the distribution, everything is okay. Fine, go there, and then submit it now. Fine. <coughs> so the renovation amount. So 5,000 has been split into two invoices now. Fine. So go there, and then submit this invoice. And click on submit now. I'm going to submit it now. So upon submitting it, what happens? It will be done now. Fine. 6793 is no main. Fine. It is not submitted for approval. It will be getting approved shortly. So let us go there and then go to the payables and then try to make a payment. 6793 is the one. Go there. Go to the payables now. Go there. You go to the invoices. You go to the entry and then go to the invoices. So invoice, entry, invoice, the navigation where what happens? 6793 is the people. 6793 is the people. Go there. And then invoice date is today's He is now making the invoice. Let us say his number is 1001. So he now first claims 3001. Go there. Invoice amount is 3001. Go there and then commit. Now what happens? We are going to obtain the line level distribution by matching. Now I click on match. It's a PO match actually because it's not a result match since it's a service based one. I go there. Click on find now, and I will make a match. I select it. Then what happens? It shows the entire amount of five thousand is eligible for a match. Out of which what happens? You know, claiming the first installment of three thousand. Now I will make a change of the three thousand. Click on match now. I'm no matching and then obtaining the line level distribution. Now. The line level distribution is obtained. Fine. Automatically the retainage is applied. The retainage is applied. And then what happens? If you go and then calculate the tax now. If you click on the calculate tax, you will be claiming 3000 invoice along with the taxes. No? Fine, return is already applied. Fine, click on calculate tax. You can also say it comes to 186.99. So if you go there, and then here are the ones you go there. He has to what? 3000 plus 186.30 years to apply. Now. Fine, he has to, his invoice amount is this now. So make a change of this invoice amount to what? 3000 plus 3186.30. You tap, the red color will go away now. Fine, it now becomes back to the fine commit. And then let us now go and then validate it. Then click on actions and then go to validate. <clears throat> so click on validate. So click on vote it. Since it is a US based system, what happens is now applying the US taxes actually. And it's now validated. If you go to the lines region, what happens? You can now see the taxes over here. <clears throat> so there are state, county, and city. There are three taxes are applicable now in this place. US state. So state, state level is 6.5, and then the county is 0, and then city level is 0.4 now actually. So totally 6.9 is the tax. 6.9 percent is a tax on whatever is there. So here in this place, county tax is not applicable for this particular location now. Right? So state and city taxes are applicable. 6.5 plus 0.4 is the tax now over there. So this is the one which has been done now. So 6.9 is the tax. Fine, go there. Now what happens? We have accounting. Fine, go to the actions. And then here now, we we'll now do the create accounting. Fine, go to the create accounting and then we'll make a final one. So through final one, what happens? Through SLA, it will be pushing it to GL actually. So we are now accounting has been successfully done. If accounting fails here, what happens? We can even run via, via the concurrent program create accounting now. And go there is accounted. So it's validated accountant. Let's go to the actions and then go to make make a pay in full now. Go there. Click on pay in full and then click on OK. By which what happens? They are going to make a pay in full. The payments of benches will be So since it's a vision instance, everything is now fully configured. And then go there. I will now make the payment process profile as a standard check format. Fine. And then what happens? That document which I've shown you, what happens? It explains you everything, even how to create a bank, branch, etc. Fine, plus commit. What happens? The payment to be made against your invoice. And remember, payment cannot be made individually. It has to reference the invoice without which it will not be done. So it says it is unprocessed. Fine, go to the, go to the actions here now. The bottom, what happens? We'll be having actions now. Click on actions. And then what happens? You do the create accounting for this now. For the payment also, we are now creating the accounting. <clears throat> so it is unprocessed now. Fine. The accounting has been successful. So what happens? It will come to as what? As processed. Fine. Not done. So now what it is, you go there and then close this payment of bench. And go there <coughs> and then close this payment of bench. Close this payment of bench. And then on the main bench, fine. Call that 6798. What happens? It is not paid in full also. If you go to the view payments, we can very well see how much has been paid now. And the payment over you. It will show you the check payments and other things on this. So quick payment has been made. When Bank of America is the one, the check has been issued for this much of amount, and we have retained three hundred dollars. So likewise, what happened? The next invoice also will be going to retain it. Now we are going to make a retainage release. Fine. After some six months time, what happens? If you feel happy with the supplier, then what happens? We will now create a retainage release. Now. Fine. Go there, drop down, and then make a retainage release. Fine. Retainage release. The one. Come okay now. For the same six seven nine three. Fine. Six seven nine three. We have retained only three hundred. Let us say he is asking for four hundred. Let us say the system will not allow. Fine. Go there. It is 102 is the invoice number. Go there. 
he is asking for 400 now i go there and then in the last area go further further the last area what happened you're going to put this is also 400 now <laughs> and then see and try to obtain the line level by matching now fine we have to match in the date fine then only what happens the accrual gets relief i click on match and then i go to match it now fine six seven nine three is the one six, seven nine three is the one on the tab and then click on find now <clears throat> Once when you find it out, when there are three lines are shown over here, against this line only you can do it. Now, find select it, and then if you try to put it as 400, 400, then give a tap. What happens? It will say, Poda Ponga, <coughs> you cannot do this. The maximum amount we can release is only 300. Now, fine, click on OK. So it's not possible. So 300 is only possible. Fine, go there, and then click on release. You know that. And then correct the invoice that fine, calculate the tax for this. Now, fine. Whenever he claims, he'll be claiming along with the 6.9% tax now. 20.70 is coming, 6.9 is the tax, fine, go there and then correct it, no fine. It's 320.70 is the amount, fine. Once when you make a change, the red color will go away. 320.70, and you tap, the red color goes away, commit. And then what happens, you go to the actions, and then what happens, you go to validate, it gets validated, and then afterwards, what happens, you go to the accounts, and then go to the create accounting, and then just click on OK, then afterwards, you do the payment in the normal way. So this completes the retainage invoice, the retainage setups in payable, and then the retainage release invoice also in payable. So, so by which what happens is now completed. Now we'll now go to the next topic called recruitment. Fine. So in the retainage, what happens? We are going to retain certain amount of a percentage on each and every invoice, and then after a certain period of time, when the work is now satisfactory for you, fine. Then what happens? You release the retainage invoice. In the recruitment. What happens if it is going to be a recruitment? Let us say we are going to have what happens a uh, contract for one hundred thousand US dollars. Supplier may not be having money, so he is asking for a twenty percent advance. So twenty thousand US dollars you are going to make a payment. Now. So this advance you are going to recoup on each and every invoice he is claiming. Let us say the first invoice he is going to claim is what twenty five thousand rupees, twenty five thousand US dollars. So on which what happens we will now re recoup twenty percent of the invoice paid. So we already paid twenty thousand. And so what happens, 5,000 will be, what happens, recoup, and then what happens, the amount which will be coming is only 20,000. So let us go to the document and then have a look at it now, fine, go there. So you just follow this, fine, whatever I have explained, everything is available here, over in this document, everything is available here. You just see, they have shown everything over there, step by step actually, even if you forget everything, what happens, you can even reference the document and then do it now actually. <laughs> the retainage is not showing you, and then afterwards, what happens, not afterwards, you're not creating a retainage invoice over here now, fine. retainage release invoice over here. Page down, it shows you everything. Now, it is a recruitment. So, the total contract amount is 35,000 in this example. Now, fine, he has now given a 35,000 example for which what happens? He is now asking for an advance of 77,000. 7,000 is nothing but 20% now. He's asking it. So, he's claiming his amount in two different stages now, stage one and stage two. And then, when he claims the first stage, what happens? We are now going to cut 4,000 and then make him a payment of 16,000. In the next stage, what happens? 15,000. What happens? We are now going to cut 3,000 and then make a payment of 12,000. So the total amount paid is 25,000. The advance paid is 7,000. And so the total contractual value is now established. So that means what? On each and every invoice, we are going to recoup at the rate of 20%. The advance paid actually. So we are going to do this now, fine. So this is what is this? This screenshots also will be explaining everything. Same thing, fine. Go there. I'm not going to go over the screenshots. You can refer it. I will not go on the directly. Do on the system directly. Fine. Go there. Close it now. Now what happens, we'll now again go back to supplier <clears throat> and then remove the retail agent. I'll go to the site and go there. I will now go to what happens, you switch responsibility to purchasing now. So here, what happens, I go there, go to the supply base. <laughs> and then go to the suppliers now, fine. Let me go there and then let me recoup this now. <clears throat> and remove the retail agent actually, fine, go there. I will now go for the supplier name or something else. Nana and then give enter now. There are a complex supplier when I'm going to go there, go there. Where is the complex supplier? Fine, go there. Complex supplier, let me edit it, update it now. Fine, there's an update icon there. Fine, click on the non complex supplier. And then let me remove the retain agent. Fine, go there. Go to the invoice management. Click on it now. So, on the invoice management, what happens? You go to the terms region and then what happens? You know, remove it now. You go down. Let me dish it out. And then click on save now. The retain agent has been removed now. Fine, go there. It is not done. Now, what happens? I go there and then create what happens? A recruitment invoice for this. Fine, go there. And then I go to the bio center and then what happens? You go to the orders now and double click on it. So this time, what happens? We should not go for the finance PO, but what happens? You have to go for what happens? Actual SPO. But this is for retainage and release. This is for recruitment now. Fine. When you want to have a recruitment, fine, go there and do it. And complex services agreements, what is the actual PO? Go now. Click on go now. And then put this now. 
It is complex services actuals, remember. Find the borders. You go there. It is nana underscore complex. Go there. <clears throat> Put the complex over here now. When the supplier cycle becoming fine, go to the lines area. Fine. Let me kill all other lines. Fine. Go away. Hold up, Unga. Fine. I don't want you. I click on S now. And I want only one line. So just see some profile option is now basically uh, defaulting five lines for you whenever you go to the lines region now. Or somewhere else. The setups I don't remember exactly. I did it long time back, but I have forgotten that actually. Go there. You can have only one line actually. And go there. Now what happens? We go there and then do it now. Fine. It is again fixed prices services now. Fixed prices services. So go there and then choose this now. Fine. Here what happens? I know say description. Let us say I don't know say construction. Construction. Click on category. Fine. Again the same thing applies now. Fine. Misc dot misc. You would tap and go there. And then now I click on the edit update icon fine click on the update icon and then here what happens we are now going to give a 20% advance to him fine well right now what happens give a cancel now because again amount has not been put at all and I have put a price prices let us say I don't know say six thousand I'm going to put it now fine six thousand if I want to put the price now and go there here advance amount is twenty percent twenty percent advance I'm going to give it and go there and then I'm going to recoup it also at twenty percent Recruitment rate and advance rate will be normally same now basically. Sometimes it will be less also. <clears throat> Fine. So we are recouping on each and every invoice 20 percent, and then we are going to make a payment of 20 percent. So go there and then click on apply now. Fine. By which we are applied now. <clears throat> go there, come to the main link, and then I go to the uh, what is called the pay items, and then he is now making a split now. Fine. Click on it. So you know that. So again, I will show you what happens here. There is no retainage coming up at all because they already removed it now. Fine. Retainage is now removed. And not coming, so only these three things are giving. And go there, click on apply now. It does not apply, and then afterwards, what happens? You go to the pay items now. So, click on the pay items, and then here, what happens is okay. Let me split it now. Fine, go to the split area. So, he is now claiming in two stages. Fine, one is the basement, and then one of the first floor, second floor, like that. One of them, click on split now. So, here, what happens? You know, for the first one, he's now splitting at 4000, and then he wants it on this date now. Fine, he says, Look what happens? I want it on 26 now. And then the remaining 2000, what happens? He is now asking on say, let us say, some other rate of 8000. <coughs> go there, well, now say, until date he is asking for. So he is now asking for a split now. Fine, go there and then leave it. So in the pay items, what happens? I am now splitting it, and then the type must be lump sum basically. Fine, what is it? Like given, and then go to the distributions now. So the advance is also going to come over here now. When you click on it, what happens? You don't see the advance is also coming up now. Fine, you ask for advance. And then the account has to be changed here now. Fine. This account should not be 7699. Fine, go there. So they're all defaulting from what happens. I have forgotten to tell you the last one distributions. Fine. You can now see the 0 to 140 is now coming up. And then the remaining all same as for the employees one. So the first two segments has got there. What happens? They changed there. I think I don't know whether I have shown you or not on the distributions basically. So it is category level override on which what happens? The first and second segments override has been happened. So on the Previous one, I don't know whether I have shown you or not. So for the advance, what happens? You have to make a change now. Fine, go there. Is we had to choose one three seven zero one three four zero. Fine. It is, it is not a miscellaneous travel expenses. It is one three four zero. It is basically prepaid expenses. Basically, fine. Click on create now. Fine. This combination we have to click on create now. So by which what happens? It will be getting created. And then of course, then choose it now. One three four zero. And then click on select now. So it has to come over here now. So. The only change on the advance, what happens if we are not making it as a prepaid expenses, fine. 1,200 are the prepaid expenses, fine, go there. And then 4,000 and 2,000, fine, click on submit, by which what happens. The recoupment PO is now getting made. Fine, go there. It's 6794, the one has been submitted, fine, go there. Go to this area, and then what happens, switch responsibility to payables now. Go there. So here, what happens, you go to the invoices, and then go to the entry, and then go to the invoices now. <coughs> I go there. Six seven nine four is the one. Am I correct? Six seven nine four. Okay, fine. Good. Six seven nine four is the one. So go there. And then invoice date is this date. Fine. Go there. And now I'll put one thousand one hundred three now. Invoice. No, fine. Go there. So now what happens? Uh, we have to first of all, no, we have to make a what is the uh, advance payment now. Fine. First invoice is the prepaid one. Fine. I'll now go to what order? I will now make a prepayment. So let us now make a prepayment for one thousand two hundred now. Fine. Go there. Is what is amount is 1200 and give a tap, <coughs> go there and then commit. And then 6794 the PO fine, click on match and then obtain the line level distribution. Click on match and click on find now and then select it. 
and then what happens it knows says what happens the invoice terms i have forgotten to change you know fine it must be immediate actually because the payment must be immediate now fine there is a match of the invoice terms as well as the po terms basically it is not giving okay fine we are new going to make a payment immediately fine doesn't matter when it comes is immediate here it's not showing what happens there uh, uh, net for if you something like that fine click on okay it doesn't matter fine I accept it and then click on match and then obtain it now you know that fine go there and then calculate the taxes now fine 6.9 is the sum of the tax fine the tax comes to 82.80 82.80 so add it so he will be asking for what 1281282 fine 1282.80 the the red color has to go away if you put the header appropriately now and the red has gone then not was what I was commit and then what happens you go to the actions and then go to validate now and validating it okay on okay it is now validated <coughs> and then do the create accounting now and go there it is now unpaid your prepaid will not be going to validate it it will be going to unpaid now fine go to actions and then here what happens you go and then what happens you create accounting to final now and click on okay <coughs> not done so accounting is now successful and then what happens you now push into gl also and go to the actions and then go to the payment now fine go to the pay in full and then the payment workbench will be coming up now fine go there <coughs> the payment workbench what happens you go and then pop it this is a vision instance and so what happens everything is now fully set and then I, once when i put the standard check format what happens it's okay fine so it will be having a corresponding invoice number also coming up now fine gets paid fine what is so I go there and then close it now fine no pay so it is now unpaid and then if you make a requery on this now fine take a copy of it and then go to 6794 fine go there and then the trading partner is what nana percentage and then query it now so 6794 what happens it will not show that what happens it is available for application now basically <coughs> so it is initially what happens not validated and then afterwards it will go to unpaid and then afterwards as, as soon as you pay it will not go for available now so available is the status so by which what happens it gets readily available now <coughs> now on every invoice what happens we are going to cut 20% of what happens or other we are going to recoup 20% of whatever we have paid now so we will not create invoice so this is having two steps of 4000 and 2000 now fine over there uh, uh now how much it is 4000 to 6000 and then order which what happened 1200 has been paid now fine go there so it is now available for application fine go there let us now create a standard invoice on this one 6794 6794 and then go there fine go there it is now saying one prepayment is available for application fine you need not have to apply anything manually at all the system automatically applies the prepayment now at the rate of 20% now and the orders go there you know that You go there and then give the invoice date now. I go there and then afterwards what happens? One zero four, and then give a tap and then go there and let us say he is now claiming let us say four thousand now. Fine, four thousand is no more the claim now. And go there, commit, complete, commit. It's not done. And then what happens? You go there and then click on match and then obtain the line level distribution now. Fine, go there and then click on find now. Go to match. So there are two lines are there. Fine. And the first line, what happens? You know, asking for four thousand is available. If you go the second line, what happens? Second line is also two thousand available. Fine. Only on the first line itself is claiming. Fine. Go there. Selected in the first line is not claiming. Fine. Go there. Click on match, and then you go to obtain it. So go there and then obtain it. What happens? You can now see what happens. Yeah, prepayment applied is eight hundred dollars. Automatically it gets applied. <coughs> Fine. It gets applied. So the prepayment is applied as eight hundred dollars. So what happens is around twenty percent of whatever he is claiming now. Fine. Go there. It's not coming out. It's not fine. So in this case, what happens is not done. So we have to. What happens if you go and then uh, what happens is never valid. It will be throwing an error now. Right? Here, what happens is we have to make it. Fine, go there, control, commit. That is not done. So if you go there and then click on actions, validate. It will not throw an error now. Right? It will not fail validation. Fine, click on OK. <clears throat> it will not fail validation. So it says how much has been paid till now. Fine, eight hundred. Fine, there is not something. It will not show you something. Right? Here, what happens is not matching actually. So actually, what happens? He will not claim six point nine percent of this four thousand. So we have to calculate this now. Then what happens? Adjust this thing. And go to the actions, and then here what happens? You put the calculator now. Fine, I'm sorry. You go there. Here what happens? You go there. I will not put the calculator over here now. Six point nine percent of the one, and four thousand, four thousand multiplied by six point nine. Fine, divided by hundred, and go there and say fine. It's two hundred six the one. So he is claiming what happens? Six point nine percent on four thousand. It's two hundred six. Fine, go there. So four two seven six. If you put it, the red color will go away. Fine, four two seven six, and then give a tap. Jim Bumba, the red color is gone. Fine, go there. So on his claim, he was not claiming a six point nine percent fine. That is what it is. You don't worry about the subtotal tax, everything, and then the amount paid and etc. His claim is this now. Fine, he is now claiming against four thousand as six point nine percent because what happens? If you go and see the state, county, city level taxes are like that now. Fine, go there. It is not there. Six four thousand two hundred seventy six. It won't be appearing anywhere else. Fine, but his is his claim. 
the system automatically adjusts everything and then now what happens you go to the actions and then go to revalidate now fine go to validate this time what happens the validation will be successful and then revalidation was there the hold was there as such now fine now got validated i yeah we got it now fine click on up actions and then here what happens you go there you go to create accounting now and then go to final okay now okay <coughs> accounted as yes now and then what happens accounting is successful and then here <coughs> you go there and then we are going to make a payment now fine go to actions and then go to pay in one now you go to the painful point four thousand is his claim along with this one four two seven six is the claim four two seven six is claim you now see how much is getting paid now and go there drop it down and then go to the standard so four two seven six is the claim for which what happens he will now get a payment of what you now see this one so amount paid is only three four two zero point eight zero the system applies everything all the taxes and everything and then what happens it does so on every each and every invoice what happens the 20 percent what happens uh, your recruitment rate will be applied and then accordingly done so this 4276 will never appear anywhere in this area at all fine on this amount paid and the things fine so you have to calculate the 6.9 he will only claim the invoice amount plus tax amount and that will be the header amount actually fine so by which it will be done now i hope that you have understood this now fine <coughs> this is on what happens the recruitment now so i have completed what happens the two complex pos of retainage and the retainage release as well as the recruitment okay fine so bye and then see you and then I am conducting uh, training on uh, EBIS on all the supply chain modules as well as fusion procurement. Fine for any queries you can write to me at nana.app60 at gmail.com nana.apps60 at gmail.com. Fine. Thank you for watching. Fine. Bye bye. <laughs>